You really care about them, don't you? No, I think they're a bunch of absolute losers. But they're my losers. Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube fam? This is Sammy Leggett here representing Team JVS. I'm back here again for another TV show review. This is the first two episodes for an Apple TV Plus premiere, and that is Slow Horses. Slow Horses is starring a all-star cast. Some people you've heard, some people you have not. Um, some newcomers, some not. Um, Carrie Oldman is front and center as the person that takes care of the house in Lamb. Um, Jack Loudon plays the up and coming, like vigorous, but you know, shaded because of a circumstance that kind of happened early on, you'll find the first episode. River Cartwright. Um, uh, Jonathan, um, Jonathan Price plays his grandfather in David Cartwright, who's really high on ep 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 of MI, MI5. Um, Olivia Cook, she's playing the role of Sid. I've met Olivia Cook. She is awesome in real life. She's been in some of everything now as a recent. Um, they've got Kristen Scott Thomas in this. Um, they've also got somebody that, um, that I thought did a really good job in the show Luther for a season in uh, Sasuke, Rivers, Sasuke Reeves that plays the role of Catherine. So the house in and of itself, right? is kind of like a group of different individuals that were a part of MI5, but it, it kind of failed. Like they they effectively failed. Their, their job description now is to kind of like gain intelligence, but they're kind of like the grunt workers. They're not, they're not looked at as the first person you kind of call. Like you're kind of like, you give them the mess. I'm not gonna say like Suicide Squad, but in certain situations it is the case because like a character like Robbie, who's a technical analyst and knows hacking up and down can hack somebody's life, he's a great asset. Whereas somebody like River, who's been, you know, in the field kind of, but not, he's like, he's got a lot of history behind him, but he's also a go-getter and he's, he's, he does not believe in giving up regardless of whatever the circumstance is. And you see that in the very open shot. Matter of fact, that chase scene in the very opening is what got me so excited for this season because I was kind of like, you know, sometimes you have really good spy espionage kind of things, but you need that chase. You need that kind of like feeling of like, man, how do you start this off with a bang? And that, the way they set that up, all of it was just near perfect. And, and to the thing was that it also allowed me to rally behind the main character of River and that Jack is uh, is playing because he's not just like a um, you know uh, a perfect guy like he's got skill but he's also got a lot of you know issues as well and a lot of that stuff still hasn't come into light but you because you don't know what he's truly capable of because he messed up very early there's a lot that you can see that this show can take this. But then the same thing can be said about Gary Oldman's character because Lamb, he's consistently drinking, like he's rude and shrewd to Catherine and anybody else. He's cursing at everybody. But for some reason, you, you kind of get this feeling like he knows so much that he's not letting on to. And I don't know, I, I still don't know, even after these two episodes, how much he really truly knows. But you can tell that the drinking is masking something else. And, and you have one of the greatest actors alive in this role <laughs> so of course he's going to kill it like and he does like in his own fashion like he 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 comes off as a man that was riddled with a lot of different things that kind of brought him to this place and he's just completely embracing being the full jerk that he wants to be to mask the things that he needs to do and i think that that's so fascinating um, the way that they do uh, the cinematography and the stylization, like this is all the backdrop is London. Matter of fact, if I didn't know better, I would say this was on BBC. Like this, I'm surprised that BBC didn't snag this or AMC didn't snag this, AMC Networks didn't snag this over Apple TV Plus because this is really good. Like from an espionage standpoint, from the way that the characters are kind of free flowing, the engagement is all the way there. Like. And things are happening. Like, it's not just, you know, language or tone. Like, no, like, there's deaths already happening. There's there's threats that are already happening. There's there's a lot of lies and a lot of manipulation that it's like a web. And 
a lot of it kind of stems from certain thing that happens in the very first episode. But even as they're starting to unravel, some things just don't add up. And it makes it so much more thrilling and exciting to see the progress of how things are going to go. For me, I don't really have any negatives about the show because even in the first two episodes, like there was a lot of content. And it was like, it was never feeling like a dull moment, even when it wasn't. Like there's a scene where Olivia Cook's character, Sid, who's presumably one of the better ones that's a part of the house. And she um, is given an opportunity to go and kind of tell somebody and she kind of accidentally spills some coffee and gets this at USB, gets it back out. And you kind of can tell like, okay, she she's on it, you know? And her chemistry with, um, with Jack or uh, River, the character River um, is undeniable. Like it is is really good back and forth chemistry, but you kind of still questioning what is going on. And I think that that's the thing that's so interesting and engaging, and it makes for good television. In all honesty, like I'm all the way for it, um, down to the things that are going on with uh, the kidnapping and how things happen that way. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, um, but it it gets pretty rough and um all shout outs to antonio uh akil that's playing the role of uh, hassan ahmed i think he's playing his role very well and i think that it's very intriguing to me to see where all this is going to go because not everything is what it seems that's all i'm going to say without saying too much definitely go and check it out um slow horses premieres on april the 1st 2022 i rate this at a 9.5 or a 10, I don't really have any negatives about it. And I, I feel like it's going so well that like, I'm like, do I want to give it a 10 early? I, I'll just give these first two episodes 10s, especially the way that the second episode leaves off. Like it's a huge moment and cliffhanger when you really get, even the way they shot it, it was freaking amazing. But yeah, action was there, cinematography there, stories there, acting talent is amazing. And I think it's going to make for some really good television. Go and check it out as soon as you can. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Keep it locked. JVS Wing will stop. Peace, guys.